Hello world, Noah here. Welcome to the next episode of Django by Example. In this episode, we're going to make a model that represents an item in our database. So if you remember from the video where we talked about the structure of Django, models are basically definitions of data that we want to store in a database and use in our website. So as this is a programming database that contains information about uh, you know various programming related things, we need to store all of this data inside of our database. So we'll go ahead and open the models.py file, and this is where we're going to define our model. A model is just a class in Django that contains basically um, a definition of all of the data that we need, and Django itself will take care of uh, you know, creating all of the tables in the database and managing the database. So you will never have to write a single query uh, in the entire time that you use Django, because Django handles the database connection entirely for you. It's really, really nice. Um, so let's actually take a look. We're going to write our first model. Um, so we're going to go ahead and write a class. We're going to call it item, where item represents an item in our database. It could be a programming language. It could be an IDE. It could be a person even, whatever it is. This class needs to inherit from models.model. You'll notice that there's already an import for model for us. And so each model that you have, you just want to extend from that class. Now inside of this class, we're going to define all of the data that we need for our model. And we're not going to define them as Python types like string or you know integer or whatever it might be because this is being stored in a database. So we need to define these items in terms that a database engine like MySQL or SQLite will actually understand. So for our database, we're going to start off really simple. We just want to have a name of the item and a description. So for example, the name could be Python, and the description could be a programming language that's simple to use, but uh, has potential for all kinds of things. I don't know. Basically, whatever description of that particular item would be. So we want to first create name, and we want name to be a short amount of text, just, you know, a little bit of text. So to do this, we're going to use models.char field. Char for character. A char field is just uh, basically a field in a database that can store some characters, some words. When you create a char field, you need to give it a max length. So let's give it a max length of 32. That means that you can't specify a name that is longer than 32 characters. If you try, it'll just cut it off. You could give it uh, you know, a larger value, 64, 128. You could even use whatever numbers you want. You could call it 50 if you want. Uh, but the smaller you make the max length, the less... I guess, data or the less disk space it'll take up. You basically just want to model max length based on how long you think it'll be. There's no reason why you'd have an item that's a thousand characters long in your database, so you wouldn't want to make max length a thousand. We're going to go with 32, but you can always change it later. So once again, we're creating a field called name, and we're saying that name is a character field with a max length of 32. So Django, when it creates the database, it'll know to create a table called item, or I guess items, and each item will have a name, which is a char field with a max length of 32. Uh, let's do the description. We're going to use for that models.text field. The difference between a char field and a text field is a text field can have an unlimited length. You don't have to specify max length. It makes more sense to use text field for description because the description could go on for multiple paragraphs, whereas the name is just probably only a word or two. So this is all you have to do. It's literally three lines of code, but based on these three lines of code, Django knows everything that it needs to know in order to create a database and manage uh, all of your items, essentially. Um, so it's really, really simple. Django does a ton of the work for you, which is really nice. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to implement the str method. So it's def underscore underscore str underscore underscore. As you probably know, this method is supposed to return a string representation of your particular instance. So we're just going to return self.name. So if I have an instance of item, uh, basically I just want the string representation of that item to be its name. So if I have an item called Java in there, uh, the string representation would just be the name Java. Super simple. 
Uh, so that's basically all you need to do. We've defined uh, the item uh, model, and we said that each item is going to have a name and a description. And once again, Django will take care of generating the database for us, filling the database with all of the information that we need, and accessing and modifying individual instances. And in the next video, we'll look at how to actually create and modify and manage um, all of these individual um, items or you know instances of models in our database. And uh, hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense at that point. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And uh, continue on to the next video for some more Django. Bye for now.